Hi, welcome to the first tutorial in a set looking at the Urban Network Analysis plugin for Rhino. The first tutorial in this set is about importing geolocated points from Google Maps into Rhino. Our first step is to open Google My Maps from a Google search. Next, select Create New Map in Google My Maps. So what we want to do is find some geolocation points in a specific area and I want to look at Dandenong, which is a suburb in Victoria. So we'll zoom in on that area and what I want to get um, geolocation data points for today is for the fresh produce that is available in Dandenong. So now that we've um, zoomed in on Dandenong, we can actually just search um, keywords that um, relate to fresh produce. So I can look up groceries and search places near current view. We'll click that and it shows the grocery stores in Dandenong and in the surrounds. So if we hover over these ones, it highlights which ones we're selecting and the ones that we want to add are just in the Dandenong area. So it's these three points. Um, so if I hover over the KB Spice and Groceries, it shows, uh, no, nope, sorry, MKS Spices and Things, it shows up with a circle around it and I want to press Add, um, which will add it as a data points to one of our layers. So I want to find the other two in Dandenong. And the last one. And then I want to search other keywords related to fresh produce. So we'll go bakery, which we've got a couple in the area. And this one. And this one. And I think there's one more. Um, so keep doing that until you've found the extent of what you're searching for. So I've fast forwarded through the rest of this data collection, um, but mainly I just looked up other fresh produce sources like supermarkets um, and added them to our um, collection of data. I have found that this is the faster way of um, collecting your data points as opposed to going over the map just with your eye. Um, but there are sometimes points that are missed, so um, there's another step to take to make sure you've collected all the data points within your area. Another thing I've found is if we go into here and we see that maybe this would be an area that has some fresh produce that hasn't come out of, up in our search, if we... To add a marker, you click Add Marker up here um, and you can select the area and you can name it if you'd like. What I found if you want to multi-add, if you hold Control and press and hold um, the Add Marker button and then move your cursor still holding off and on again, it'll go blue underneath and that means you can multi-add. So if we click the areas, it means that you don't have to select um, add marker every time. And we'll just go through here. It seems like a few areas in here didn't come up. Seafood and spices. And we've got the Audi supermarket. So yeah, that's another way that you can add um, your points. So what we want to do now, we can name this layer um, fresh produce. And we 
you can name this dandenong. And then we want to go to the three dots here next to the map name, not next to the layer. And we want to select export to KML slash KMZ. Now the options here, we want to select the layer to export, not the whole map. And we want to export as KML instead of KMZ. And then you click download. So it should download into your files. Um, just take a moment and then we'll go on to the next step. Our next step is to open QGIS. So if you don't have QGIS downloaded, um, you can get it off the internet. Um, it's quite simple and I'm sure you can find some tutorials online. Um, what we want to do is find our KML file that we've downloaded and drag and drop that into where it says new empty project. So this will show our data points um, in QGIS and they are geolocation points. So they are located, even though it's just white, it's located in a certain area that they were on um, the my maps as well. So the main reason that we need to open QGIS, well, there's two. One is to export it into um, a file type that is usable in Rhino. And the second is to make sure that its coordinate system is matching those that we are going to be using for the other um, data that we import into Rhino as well. So what we want to do is right click on fresh produce and go to export and save feature as. So the format that we want to save the vector layer as is a AutoCAD DXF. So this is openable in, or oh, importable into Rhino. Um, so we want to give the, um, the file a name. So I've already exported this once, so I'll save over the top of that. And one of the main important things that I found is to make sure that your coordinate reference system matches across all of the data that you want to import. So because I'm using OpenStreetMaps for some of my, some of my data points, um, I want to match all my other data to that, which is they use the EPSG 3857 um, coordinate reference system. So select that one or the one that you want to match and then select OK. Now the other important thing is to make sure that in the geometry type you have points selected because otherwise um, your data will be imported into Rhino as hatches and um, we need them as point files. So select OK um, and you can see at the top that it said successfully saved the vector layer. So the next thing we want to do is open Rhino and import this data in. So in Rhino, we can go to new and select small objects millimeters um, as our setup. And if we double click the top, um, as all the things we're doing are from the top view and are in 2D, um, so it's the main window that we'll be working in. Uh, so next, we want to go to File, Import, and find our AutoCAD drawing that we just exported from QJS. Select Open, and make sure that your import options match those that are in my screen. Select OK. And then if you press Control, Shift and E at the same time, it'll zoom to um, those data points to the extent of what you have in your window. Um, so these are the data points that we exported from my maps um, into a KML file, and then from there um, saved them as a AutoCAD DXF in QGIS. 
Um, a few more steps that we want to do is um, if we go to layers and we rename layer one as fresh produce, we then want to type change layer and change all of our points onto the fresh produce tab. So this means that you can turn those data sets on and off. Um, we also click on the color assigned to that layer and we might change it to green. Um, so that is step one in how to use Urban Network Analysis plugin um, and how to import some data points from my maps into um, Rhino. So check out my next tutorial to see the next steps in how to use urban network analysis.